How about this next story? The country's top colleges sued and accused of price fixing to make students of divorced or separated parents pay more for school. The lawsuit takes aim at the college scholarship service profile, a form some schools use to determine a student's financial needs, and alleges the college board conspired with schools to develop a policy back in 2006 to consider the assets of non-custodial parents in its calculation purposely to deny students scholarships. Kelsey joins us now with more on this lawsuit. Kelsey, this lawsuit involves dozens of private schools. Yeah, Marky, it really does. So this involves 40 elite schools. I mean, we're talking Harvard, Yale, MIT, and they're accused of increasing tuition for students whose parents are divorced. So one of the attorneys that filed this lawsuit claims that this is a major factor for increased tuition costs. Now, to kind of break this all down, students who are looking for financial aid, they have to fill out a form called CSS. Now, this is managed by the College Board. That is the very same organization behind the SAT. For those with divorced parents, they must list their custodial and non-custodial parents' financial information, even if their non-custodial parents are even providing any financial aid at all to them. Now, students of the suit, one from Boston University and another from Cornell, say this process has actually reduced the financial aid they could receive. So reportedly, the College Board told U.S. Today, that they are confident that they're going to win this case, but we also reached out to them and it said this to us. College Board is aware of this legal action and we are reviewing it, but we are confident that we will prevail in this action and we will continue to support our member colleges. A spokesperson for NYU told USA Today that the lawsuit is meritless, going on to say they plan to defend their financial aid. Duke University also told us that they are aware of the litigation, but they're not willing to comment on the pending litigation. Now, we also reached out to all other schools and we did not hear back. Yeah. Marky? I know you have divorced parents everywhere saying, hey now, yes. <laughs> let me dig into this one. What do you think is the likelihood that these students could actually win in this case, Kelsey? You know, it's really too early to know and it's hard to know for sure. But I can tell you this, and this is interesting, this lawsuit comes on the heels of a class action lawsuit accusing some of the very same schools of financial aid price fixing. And that resulted in a $284 million settlement, Marky. Yeah, just a crazy story. Uh, we'll follow it closely. Uh, and continuously. Kelsey, thank you thank so you. much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.